Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Honkai Star Rail video, and today we're going to do a character guide on the Fire Trailblazer. Now this is an important character guide that I've been meaning to do, um, because this is a character that every player will have access to. Um, now as you know, when you start the game, the Trailblazer is like the main character, they're the character you start as. But when you start the game, they start as a physical character, and they have like a baseball bat, and they're like whacking the enemies, whatever. For newer players, just know that this character is pretty fun, um, but the physical Trailblazer isn't a character you're going to be using long, ter long term. They're not very good. Um, and without giving away any spoilers for players that haven't done that yet, just know that as you play through the main story, you eventually will unlock access to the Fire Trailblazer. And just to let you know, um, the physical Trailblazer and the Fire Trailblazer, they are actually considered separate characters, so you have to build them both up if you want to use them. So just know that if you've spent time building up the physical Trailblazer, when you get access to Fire Trailblazer, all of their stuff is basically like reset. You have to rebuild them and do that. They're treated as a separate character. Um, now, for those of you unfamiliar with the Fire Trailblazer, they are a fire preservation character, and I really like preservation characters in this game. I would say these characters aren't required for any team comp, but they're just a great way. I, I, I think of the preservation character as like your fourth slot character that you're just sliding in as like a nice safety net, right? I've talked about team building before, but you always want a DPS and you want a healer. Those are like kind of the two things I start with. The third slot is using Nihility or Harmony or some combination of that. And then your fourth slot, which is a little bit more open, could be the preservation character if you want that, depending on the fight. Um, so what preservation characters are going to do is they're going to put shields on the party and help to keep you safe. Um, you guys have seen me on my channel use March 7th quite a bit. March 7th is single target shielding, but really fat shields. Um, the, what Fire Trailblazer is going to do is she's going to AOE put shields on, so she's going to shield the whole party, or he or she, depending on what gender you pick. Um, but the shields are going to be a lot smaller. So just know that they won't be quite as potent as marches, but you're going to be hitting the whole party, which is kind of good. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to look at their uh, skill set so you guys understand what the kit does. Um, and then we're going to look at their best relics, their best uh, light cones. Um, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at them in battle and just kind of see them, uh, you know, a maxed out version of this character. The other thing I'm going to talk about that's a little bit of a bonus on this character guide is how to unlock all of their Eidolons. Because this character, you can get their Eidolons for free. You do not have to summon for them. So I do want to explain how to get that as well. So let's go ahead and hop in with the basic attack. This is just going to be a fire attack that scales off of their attack stat. But then what this character has is they have... Um, something called magma will which is a stacking buff and it can stack up to eight stacks and what happens is is anytime you get to four or more stacks you're going to unlock this enhanced attack and it's going to consume four stacks of magma will uh, what this does is it does a, a stronger basic attack scaled off of attack um and then it does a little bit of blast damage as well to the enemies to the side um and then a bonus effect that we get, and just so you know, some of these bonus effects will come from Eidolon, some of them will come from Traces, so just know that this is once the character is fully maxed out, they will have all of this. They won't have all of this bonus stuff right away, okay? Um, so when they use their basic attack, they additionally deal fire damage equal to their defense. When the Trailblazer uses the enhanced basic attack, they deal more damage scaled off of defense. So what happens is, is even though up here you're seeing everything scaled off of attack, down here we're actually getting damage scaled off of defense, which is really good. So by increasing defense, you're going to increase the shield potency, but you're also going to increase the damage of the Fire Trailblazer. Um, and then this bottom effect here is using the enhanced basic attack will actually re regen some of the Trailblazer's health, which is very good. Um, so then here is the normal skill. This is going to increase the damage reduction, and then it's going to give them a stack of Magma Will. Um, and it has a chance, and it will have a 100% base chance to taunt all element enemies. So what good preservation characters do is they don't only apply shields, but they sometimes will reduce damage, and they will basically taunt or lock enemies onto them to make them attack them. So with this skill, um, you're getting some damage reduction. And then what happens here with this bonus effect is after using the skill, the damage taken by all allies is reduced by 15%. So... What's going to happen here is the Trailblazer is getting 52% base damage reduction, and then all allies are getting another 15% damage reduction. So you're getting a lot of damage reduction there. Now, the other thing that's going to happen when you use the skill is you're going to apply shields to everybody. And the reason why, you can see here, it doesn't come directly from the skill, but there's another effect 
that says when you use a basic attack, a skill, or an ultimate with the Trailblazer, it will always apply the shield, which is really good. You don't feel like you have to press a certain button to apply the shields. You're pretty much going to get a shield with whatever button you press. Okay, here's the ultimate. It deals fire damage scaled off of the attack, but then it also scales off of defense by a larger percentage to all enemies. And then the next attack will be enhanced and will not consume magma will. So the ultimate's going to give you a free uh, uh, enhanced attack. Um, and then the talent, and once again, talents are like kind of passive abilities. You usually don't press a button for this. So each time the Trailblazer is hit, they get a stack of magma will. When magma will has at least four stacks, then they, then they get the enhanced attack. Um, when they use a basic attack skill or ultimate, you apply a shield to all allies that absorbs damage um, scaled off of the Trailblazer's defense, and that shield will last for two turns. The shield applied to all allies from the talent will block extra damage scaled off of her defense. Um, at the start of battle, immediately gains four stacks of magma will, so you're going to get an enhanced attack right away. Um, after the Trailblazer uses the enhanced basic attack ultimate, their defense increases by 10%. You can stack that three times up to a 30% defense raise. And then when they are protected by a shield at the beginning of the turn, it does give them an attack buff and energy regen rate up, which is very good. So once again, I kind of read off a bunch of stuff there, but just know that what's happening here is the trailblazer with pretty much any button you press with them you're getting a small shield to the whole party which is nice they give themselves damage reduction they get magma will stacks at the beginning they build up magma will by getting hit and they're going to be taunting so they want to get hit and they have that damage reduction to help take less damage so they're doing really what you want out of a tank right um and then the technique, this is once again the field skill. So this is the one that you use on the map. So when you use the technique, you're going to see a buff that says defense. I'll demo it in a little bit here. Um, and then at the start of the next battle, they are going to gain a shield um, that's scaled off of their defense. And it's going to be stronger than a normal shield that they can produce. All right. So with that, that was kind of a lot there. But that's in general what the Trailblazer is doing. And we will demo it once again in a fight. So what I want to do next is talk about, well, how do you build the Trailblazer? What's the best kind of setup to use on them? So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the old data bank here. And we're going to look at the best relic sets to start. So let's go ahead and look at relics first. All right. So when we look at relics, there's two real main sets you're looking at. You're looking at the Knights of Purity Palace. Um, and this is going to be your defense upset. Um, and it increases the potency of the shields. This four piece set is personally what I am using. Um, I really, for my build, I really leaned in all in on the shields and the defense. I didn't really look at anything else. Um, and that's kind of the way that I went. Now there is another very good set you can use. Um, and it is this one here, the Guard of Wither uh, Wuthering Snow, which this is the damage reduction set. So this on a two piece set, you get 8% damage reduction. And on the four piece set, at the beginning of the turn, if the wearer's HP is equal to or less than a 50%, restores HP equal to 8% of their max HP and regenerates five energy. This is also a very good set. Um, and I feel like you could go either one on a four piece set because like with damage reduction, we already saw Trailblazer has a good chunk of damage reduction in their kit. So adding extra damage reduction onto that is actually very good. Um, so I think there's, there's three ways you can build her here. Um, you can either go a four piece set of either of these two, or you could do two, two piece sets of these. So if you do the two, two piece sets, what you're going to do is you're going to get 8% damage reduction and you're going to get 4% or 15% defense up. So you're just going to get the raw stat boost, but you won't get the second bonus effect. So that's going to kind of be your own preference as to how you want to build them. But those are really the two sets I would be looking at there. Now, when we look at ornaments, you could go with this one. Um, and then this is the energy regen set, which is very good for a character like this. So if you want to focus more on energy regen and getting the ultimate up, you could go with that set right there. Otherwise, what you would do is you'd go with the defense set, which is the Bellabog of the Ar Architects. Um, and this is personally the set I went with because we saw in Trailblazer's kit that there's so many things scaled on defense, right? The uh, some of the damage and attacks are actually scaling off of defense and the shields are going to be scaling off of defense and how much you can absorb is all scaled on defense. So I went all in on defense. And this is why, like when you guys watch me play with March, why her shields are so ridiculous and overflow past like the max HP of my characters. Cause I went so all in on defense. Her shields are so strong. And for me, like when I'm using this character, I want their shields to be at their best 
and I want them to tank as best as possible. So I really leaned in all in defense here. The regen rate is cool, but like with Fire Trailblazer, I'm not so concerned about getting the ultimate. I'm not so concerned about if my magma will stacks or up or whatever. Cause she, like she, you're gonna see, they don't really do that much damage. And to me, I would rather just like, even if I'm not having my ultimate up all the time, as long as I'm pressing buttons and upkeeping the shields, that's all I really care about with Fire Trailblazer. So I personally would lean more towards the defense set here, but that's gonna be totally up to you, right? Now, when you're building out your um, artifacts here, on the body slot, you definitely want defense percent for that. Um, on the feet, you want either defense percent or speed. Um, honestly, I would just go defense percent on the feet because this is a character that I don't think speed is super important on them. Like they're going to get enough turns. And once again, every time they get a turn, they're going to be reapplying shield. So I, I think defense percent really just make your shield stronger is what you want to do there. The planner sphere, I would go defense percent there and link rope defense percent. I would just go all defense percent. Now on the link rope, if once again, if you're more concerned with ultimates, um, then go energy regen right there. And you might want to go speed on the feet if you're more concerned with getting the ultimates off more often. Um, but otherwise you can literally just go defense percent on every stat that you can, right? Um, and I think defense and defense percent, when you're looking at substats, you want as much defense as possible. I think speed is decent if you can get that as a substat. Um, and effect uh, resistance is also decent on a tanky character like this because you don't want them falling under like freeze or other status effects, right? So that's pretty much how you're going to build them there in terms of relics. Um, now we can go ahead and we can look at the light cones. Now light cones, I think you actually have a lot. This is a character where preservation i think you have actually a lot of suitable light cones you can use so i went stress about getting the perfect one now the best light cone is this one moment of victory and i actually have this one with superimposed levels but i'm not using this on my fire trailblazer because i've got this on march march is my best girl so uh, she gets the best equips um, but this is a very good one you can use if you happen to get lucky and get this one it is going to be a defense up and effect hit rate up um and when the wearer is attacked, it increases their defense by an extra 24%. So this is going to give you a ton of defense, right? The reason why I use this one on March is because it has effect hit rate up, which helps March freeze, which I like that a little bit better. Um, but yeah, this one, if you have this and like this is your main preservation character, definitely use it because you're getting like a 48% defense up here, which is insane, which is what you want on Trailblazer, right? Now there's another one here that is recommended and it's actually one that I don't have. And sorry, I got to go down to preservation here and actually sort properly. But this one here is called Landau's Choice. I actually don't have this one yet. Um, what this one does is it makes the wearer more likely to be attacked and it gives them an extra 16% damage reduction. Now the reason why this one's good on Fire Trailblazer, we already talked about, they're already taunting so they want to be attacked. It's going to help them get their magma will up. This is going to give them extra taunting and extra damage reduction, which they already have. Now I would say if you're gonna go with Landau's choice and go damage reduction, you actually might wanna do the damage reduction uh, relic set, cause then you're getting so much damage reduction, like they're barely going to get touched. So I think this is a very good set if you wanna go more the damage reduction route. Otherwise, if you wanna go more the defense route, which is what I'm doing, um, the one I'm actually using is this one. Um, and if you look at online guides, they don't really recommend this one, but I think this one is fine. Uh, this one's called Trend of Universal Market, and this is the one that's got actually Topaz on it. Um, and I like this one actually on her. So it increases their defense. When the wear is attacked, there's a chance to burn the enemy, which the character is a fire character. Um, so I think it just kind of makes sense for them anyways. And then when the wear deals DOT, the DOT is going to do more damage, scaled off 40% of the wearer's defense. So what happens is I get it that like the reason why this isn't recommended is because it's kind of built on DOT, um, which is damage over time. And that's Fire Trailblazer isn't really built on that, right? They don't inherently have burn in their kit. But the way this game works is anytime you break an enemy with your element, you will apply their DOT effect. So the Fire Trailblazer can inflict burn. Um by breaking enemies right so you're not going to see it a lot but the burn will hit really hard off of this because it's going to be scaled off of their defense and when you're doing a defense build like i'm doing you can actually get some decent burn damage off of that so we might try to demo that we'll see if it happens during the uh the the little battle that i'm going to do here at the end but that one wouldn't be like the highest recommended one that's just one that i am personally using um otherwise i think there is i think this one here 
I'm pretty sure this is the Battle Pass one. And I might eventually pick this one up. Um, but this is another defense up. And it increases the damage of their ultimate by 60% of the wearer's defense. So <clears throat> when you do this... Um, what happens is, is you're getting defense on this, but this is going to make the Fire Troublers as ultimate hit a lot harder. So I, I think I might actually pick this one up and build it up and try it, because I think it actually will be pretty decent for helping the Trailblazer deal more damage. So that's definitely one you can do. And then there's another one called One Day New Life. I also have this one built up. Um, this one is another defense up, and then it increases the all-type resistance to help you um, resist status effects. So that's definitely a decent one as well. So the reason why there, I, I say preservation is kind of easy is because a lot of these are already just increasing defense. So I'd say pick the best one you have that gives defense to the Fire Trailblazer and you're probably going to be good. If you're desperate, the three-star option is Amber, which is just a defense up one. Um, so if you're desperate, you can use that, but definitely try to get at least a four-star option if you can um, on the Fire Trailblazer. So there we go. That is the uh light cone set there so now what i'm gonna do before i hop in with the uh into a battle here i want to show you how to get their eidolons up so when you look here let me just show you my build by the way so you can see i am using this one trend of the universal market which is once again going to give me that little bit of dot damage but it is superimposed what is it uh superimposed three so i'm getting a 24 percent defense up that's the other thing too guys that you have to consider when looking at all these four star preservation ones the one that you have more super impositions on might be the one you lean towards just because you're going to get a higher base defense on it right so that's another thing that should influence your decision there um my relic set you can see here i did do the four set bellabog of the artifacts so getting the 15 percent up um and then on the ornaments i did go with the bellabog's fortress of preservation here uh are the bellabog of the architects to give me more defense so i just really really went all in defense and then eidolons here you can see i've got all six eidolons and once again some of the effects we talked about came from that so um the first one just gives you extra damage scaled on defense um, the second one gives you more extra damage scaled on defense. And then the third and the fifth ones just give you more, um, levels on your skills. The fourth one just gives you the four magma will stacks at the start of battle. And then the sixth one, um, says that this is the one that lets you stack your defense up to 30%. Anytime you basically take an action with her, um, you're going to get that right. So how do we get these idol on? So this is what I want to show you because this character, you don't summon for them. Um, so here's what you need to do. If you go to your map here, what you want to do is on the Star Rail map, you want to go to the uh, Zianxiao Lufo, Lufao, <laughs> however you say it, Zianxiao. You want to go here and you want to go to the Central Star Skiff Haven. And over here on the left, you're going to see there's like a shop right here. I have it highlighted. It's called the Jeweler's Pagoda. So let's go ahead and go to the Jeweler's Pagoda. So if you go here, you can actually buy the Eidolons from this shop. So we're going to hop in here, talk to this person, um, go into the shop. And you can see I bought them, but they're this right here, the Shadow of Preservation. So you want to buy these, and you buy these with a unique resource called Strawlays. And you basically, you get these for doing missions in the Xianxiao Lufao, or La, La, La Fu. I, they say it all the time. I can't pronounce it, but we'll just say the Xianxiao. So in this area, right? So if we go back here, let me go back here. Um, so it's 250 Strales per copy. So you need a lot of them. But basically, if we go to the Star Rail map, so this green boat thing, right? The Xianxiao, anything that's in here. So any missions that you complete, any story stuff you complete, any treasure chest you open, you will get straw lace in those. So just basically you get the most of it through playing through like the main story and stuff and doing missions. That's really where you're going to get a lot of it from. So if you don't have enough straw lace to buy them all, you need to either search and look for treasure chests or just complete missions and quests in this area. Eventually you will get enough to buy those out and that's how you get the Eidolons. All right, so with that, we're going to go to the final part here, and we're going to do a showcase. So let me go back to the, actually not to the map. We're going to go into here, and we're going to go into Forgotten Hall. And we are going to demo in the Forgotten Hall, because then I can show you the field skills. I've got a team set up right away. We've actually got a fight that has fire weakness, so it works out perfect. So let's go ahead and hop in. <clears throat> 
Not guaranteeing I'm going to win this fight. I think I will. I think this team is good enough, but I want to show off Fire Trailblazer. So we're going to use the field skill. Okay. So that's going to give us a shield at the start of battle. Um, and we can use Jing Lu's field skill as well. And then we're going to use Pela's field skill to get a little defense down immediately. All right, we're going to hop in. So we got some nice freeze going on on these guys here. So you can see that the Fire Trailblazer is starting with four stacks of Magma Will. So we're going to keep that in mind as we go through. Jing Lu is going to go ahead and go into her enhanced state immediately. Start blowing down some damage. Okay, um, we are going to go ahead and defense down. All right, so here's Trailblazer, right? So once again, you want to look at her shields and you'll see that the Trailblazer, because... <clears throat> Of our Eidolon, she is starting with our, or because of her field skill, she's starting with a very big shield. It's roughly half of her entire health bar, right? So now we're just going to do the enhanced attack, which is going to blast, do some okay damage. And once again, she's not really there for damage, but you can see we applied a very small shield to the rest of the party. Now on Bailu, the shield looks very, very small. It's not that Bailu got less of a shield. It's just Bailu has so much max HP that the shield doesn't cover as much of that HP pool, right? But you can see it's probably covering like, I don't know, six to 700 HP, somewhere in that range. It's, it's a little chunk, right? But we can, the, so even though the shields are small, you want to think of it, it's going to just take some bite off of the attacks that we take from the enemies. And then every time that we get a turn with Fire Trailblazer, we're always reapplying the shields. Because once again, any skill, ultimate, or basic attack we do will reapply the shields. So you can see there, Pela, you know, the shield de definitely didn't cover all of that, but it took some bite off of it, so we have more HP now. Fire Trailblazer is definitely a character that you still need to carry a healer. Like, they're not a strong enough shield that you can get away without it. You can see Pela, Pela's looking really rough already. But you can see Fire Trailblazer really eats the damage well because they have damage reduction, right? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We can hit our ult. I tried to hit the ultimate, but I missed it. Now I got it too late. <clears throat> That's unfortunate because now we don't have the crit boost. Still got okay damage on that. Um, this is unfortunate because we need like Bailu to get a turn. So we're a little bit slow here. So depending on who's getting targeted, well, it looks like Jing Lu's getting targeted. So we should be okay. Jing Lu can take some damage here, so that's fine. Oh, actually, I just redirected it to Pela. I just got Pela killed. Well, we got Bailu, so <laughs> I forgot. The ape targets based on, like, whoever attacked it with a skill. That's okay. So let's do the ultimate here. We're just looking at Fire Trailblazer. Okay, so you can see only 4,000 damage. Like, the damage isn't crazy at all. But you can see we applied shields now. Now we can do the enhanced attack, which is going to uh, keep the shields up. Now we can restore a little bit. There we go. There, now we're feeling good. Now we can kind of protect, and Bailu can eat that fine. Bailu's got a ton of HP, so we're definitely good with that. All right, so we're going to go ahead here with Xing Lu. So we'll finish this fight, because this will have another phase to it. I believe it does. I believe this is a two-phase fight. Okay, yep, here's phase two. This one's going to be a little bit tougher here. Once again, we'll just kind of see the shields working. But yeah, I think Fire Trailblazer is just a really great free-to-play option for preservation, for sure. Um, you know what? We're going to do a normal attack here. Because I do want to actually show the skill here. So we're going to go ahead and pop the skill here. You're going to see we're going to get the shields up. And we're actually, and then using the skill with her is very good there. Because the ape will target her and she's got all that damage reduction, right? Now, we've got kind of a sticky situation here. We got a ton of attacks coming in. So let's just watch us tank a little bit here. Yep, took that damage just fine. Shield's helping take off some of the bite there. Um, actually, I kind of got to start going after this guy, don't I? Hmm. Okay, Pela. I mean, we might have to do a normal here. No, we can use a skill here. Do I want Pela getting targeted? I don't think I do. I think I'm okay leaving Jing Lu get the target, so we'll do a normal here. I've got an ultimate heal backed up here if we get in a sticky situation. We'll save that Bailu heal. Okay, we might have to use the heal after this. Let's see. Um, We're actually okay. All right, so now we have the enhanced attack again because the magma stacks are up. And then we got the ultimate. We'll pop that. 
So basically through all the stuff we're doing, we actually got some okay damage. Like it was AOE. We did like 37K damage to the group. That's actually solid. But just know that overall, once again, we're just upkeeping shields. She's giving herself damage reduction. She's taunting. Um, she's doing all that stuff, right? Now with Bailu here, do I want to do a heal or just attack? I kind of want to do a heal. And then Bailu getting targeted is fine because Bailu's got a ton of HP. Oh, oh shoot. Okay, well, that's just stinky. That's fine. We'll still try to finish the fight here. Um, <laughs> I did not expect... That's the thing with um, Ting Yun and Pela, man. They are just so squishy. Like, Pela seemed fine and then just got kind of one-shot out of there. So I hit my heal a little bit too late, but that's fine. I think we can maybe still finish this fight off. So this is where, too, like, speed on Trailblazer I don't think is the worst because then we'd be upkeeping those shields a little bit more often, which could definitely help. So if I get around to it, I may change her shoes to a, a speed build. We'll have to see. Okay. Um, sure, we'll heal. But yeah, Pela is usually, like, when I use Pela, Ting Yun, like, they're usually the first ones to go. Um, Silver Wolf, same way. Like, very squishy characters, right? So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to redo this Forgotten Hall run because I don't want to have any downed characters. But I'll use a slightly different team in here. But you can see, Fire Trailblazer, like, they're doing their thing. They're not, like, the perfect preservation character, right? Like, they're definitely not the best one. But they're definitely like good enough to use and once again can help take some bite off the damage. So once again, we're going to reapply shields. We got the ultimate up. Now what I could do with her, right, is wait till a character gets hit and then use the ultimate to reapply the shield. So if you time the ultimate a little bit better rather than just using it back to back like I did, that definitely can help. Because remember, the ultimate will also reapply the shields. But maybe Xing Lu can just carry us the rest of the way here. Let's see. Um, sure, let's go to this side here. Uh, we do need to heal up. Okay, I think we're going to be okay. Even with Pela dying here, I think we'll be able to finish this off. Yep, and that's what we want. We want her getting hit, building up the Magma Wolf stacks. Jing Lu's going to take a hit here. We're okay. Bailu can take a hit. That's fine. All right, we're going to pop this. I'm a little worried. I don't want to get in the same situation where I get another character killed. Yep, and we definitely take the Magma Wolf stacks there. Keep hitting me. All right, we got to get this guy out of here. He keeps bringing out his friends. We almost got him out of here. We actually are almost done with this fight. Jing Lu's going to take a big shot there, yep. Bai Lu's helping there a little bit too because we get like regen. So you notice like she got hit, but then we regen some health like right away, which was nice. Um, I think I got to heal again. All right. We're pretty close. We just need a... We just... Uh, let's finish this guy off. I think that might be pretty close to doing it. Yep. Perfect. And then we'll do this. And that should get us into our enhanced state to finish this guy off. Boom. All right, and we're done. So anyways, guys, there you go. There's the Fire Trailblazer. Like I said, just a very solid preservation unit, and it really depends on your team comp, but definitely bring a healer with them. But I think they are really nice for just, once again, uh, reducing some of that damage, helping your party stay alive a little bit more, except for maybe Pela, right? So anyways, let me know what you think of this character. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.